Hi everyone, with the spirit of learning, welcome back to my video in YouTube. I'm very happy you're coming back or you, are you new in this channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button because you're gonna get a lot of updated from me about the Android, about the web design and UI UX, alright? So today's video, we're gonna talk about the best way to learn about the Android design and development. So make sure if you are a beginner, this is really recommended for you. But if you are an expert or an advanced, I hope it's still useful for you, right? <laughs> yeah, so right now, I'm gonna share my experience. How do I learn for the Android programming? How do I learn development and design as well, right? Because uh, sometimes we have different ways to learn, right? So why not I share mine and then I hope it, it's gonna be useful for you guys. Okay, so number one is learn the programming language. So basically, uh, if you are from the university, previously that you took the major for the information, inter information uh, system information, you know, or software engineer, yeah, you might learn programming language such as C++, C Sharp, or even Java. After you learn the programming language, you can test your own skill, you can practice every day, and then you can challenge yourself to make something new, or just recreate something new from the other, right? But, to be honest, Java with the Java Android is different. So after you learn Java in your university, probably that you have to learn Java for Android because it's different. But it's okay, not big different. As long as you understand how that application works, then you can use your own logic, alright? So after you learn programming language, you have to learn their own framework. Okay, if you want to design for the Android, you have to learn material design. And then if you are designed for the iOS, you have to learn their own guidelines. So you have to learn the framework because it could be help you to work faster and then better in the in the ways how do the Android working properly. After you learn the, their own framework such as material design, you can learn software design. So basically why do you have to learn software design? It is because you can design your own application. It is because you will know how designer uh, working with their own application such as Adobe XD, or Figma, and then Sketch maybe, yeah. But for you, you can try Adobe XD. It's very, very simple than any software design. And also, it, it's free for you, right? <laughs> and then after you learn about the design software, you can try to uh, to make something new or recreate something from the other application but you have to design by yourself because previously you have learned about design software such as Adobe HD and then you might try to simple thing like splash screen or login screen but the design have coming from you you have to know how to design yeah you can you can see the inspiration from dribble pinterest or google images you know just searching for uh, login and then you might lo you might get a lot of inspiration that you can recreate in the design software such as adobe xd after you recreate you're gonna learn about how do you export the assets properly because Android have MDPI, XXXDPI, or LDPI. Yeah, I don't remember all of them, but I know the Android. I know what Android needs. So make sure that that software design is supporting you to convert those assets to the Android needs or Android requirement. But Adobe XD supporting for you, right? So you have. Uh, maybe you want to watch this video because at that video I'm gonna show you how do you sup how do you export those assets for the Android requirement. Okay, so you have uh, you have learned basic programming language such as Java for Android, 
and then you have learned about the framework and then you have learned about design software such as Adobe XD and then you try something small such as login or splash screen yeah just one screen or two screen from the splash to the login and then the last one uh, sorry it's not the last and then after that you gonna wake up every morning you're gonna wake up earlier and then you pick up your smartphone it's not about the social media it's not about texting your friend but you go to the play store and then after that you make one to install something just randomly i mean uh yeah just just reinstall application randomly because if you are installing that application randomly you're gonna learn how that application work that you can implement it in implementing to the new uh, to the something new i mean yeah so uh, every morning i'm installing the new application just random i have no idea because i want to learn their own application i just install and then after that i try to i try to explore more 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 if there's something new i'm gonna learn about that okay so basically i was learning about uh, from Gojek application if you click buy and then suddenly uh, the section or another section is coming from the bottom yeah because yeah I really interested to improve my own skills so that's how do I that's how do I do to install randomly application from the Google Play Store and then you can try to explore by yourself okay so this is the last but I hope it's not be it's not gonna be our last <laughs> so the last one is find a mentor as for get you as for the good direction of the Android design and development no matter are you expert advanced beginner you have to have a mentor this mentor could help you to bring you to the good direction in your career otherwise you're gonna lose you don't know how to do you don't know you don't have any idea you lost of inspiration idea yeah sometimes I felt I feel that because I have to improve my own experience my own knowledge so I have to find the right mentor how do you find the right mentor it's not easy as you think you know sometimes people don't want to give you free direction sometimes they have their own time they are not able to talk with you they are not able to give you something new right so you have to be patient you have to follow the best people that are suitable with your career i mean if you're gonna if you're gonna be the android developer you might have to follow the best android developer in the world in your country or outside of your country it doesn't matter just follow and then after that you have to be kind be kind is not like you give the money <laughs> no 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 the good mentor will not take your money but uh, they will give you the advice so first of all you have to say hello introduce yourself and then just and then say how are you yeah like that and you have to uh, you have to make it step by step it's not like hey how are you hey i need advice blah 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 blah, blah. no <laughs> once even even you you're asking to me about that and then i just leave no no i don't have to time with you i don't have to time to talk with you and talk any bullshit you know so first of all you have to say hello and just say who are you and then just leave it and then uh tomorrow or the day after tomorrow you make one to say hello again and just say uh, what are you working on right now yeah just little little and little don't take the big steps because it will uh it will make your your mentor or your friend to leaving you because yeah they don't have any time to talk too much with you right so just make sure step by step yeah i have mentor i'm so lucky i have good mentor i got it from my previous company that i have been work on so i keep that guy as my mentor if i dove if i i don't know how to do something i'm gonna ask him for the advice for the documentation or resources about the android 
So this video basically is to answer those question, yeah, those question, yeah, it's answered, it's answered those question, and hopefully, uh, you guys understand about this content, alright? So those ways to learn about the Android design and development. First, learn the basic programming Java for Android. Second, learn the framework material design, and the third. You have to learn design software, even not uh, not deeper. I mean, uh, just good to know how the design software works, so you can make your own apps. You can design it for you. And the fourth, you can try something small such as pro screen, and then login or welcome screen or even profile screen. You know. And the five, you have to install the randomly application every day. No matter what, just install and try explore and uninstall. If you found something new, just try to make by yourself, right? And the last one, find a good mentor. Okay, don't forget about this. This is this is really really useful for you. Otherwise, you're gonna lose in your career, right? Okay, guys. I hope it was useful for you. There's six ways, the best ways to learn Android design and development from, from me, yeah. But if you have something that different from mine, just let me know in the video comments so let the others learn from you, right guys? So nice to meet you from Indonesia. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share with your friends and hit that subscribe button. <laughs> so yeah, that's all. I have to go. See you in the next time. Have a nice day. Bye.